Good morning, guys. Um, so I'm currently waiting for Salvation Army to come pick up boxes, and I'm hoping that they don't come during this video. <laughs> but <clears throat> I didn't want to just sit around and wait. So um, I have been contemplating, or I've been really thinking about some of the conversations that have been happening on the card pull thread this morning, and then just my own personal journey. And then I saw a friend post a quote today, and I was like, kind of all really coincides with each other. So, um, you know, hopefully, that I will never pretend to know it all. I will never pretend to always have my shit together, and I will always be honest with you guys about kind of what I'm currently working through and how I coach myself, because I feel like by sharing that is um, helps you guys, you know, to, to, to work through your own shit also. So the, uh, the quote that my friend shared is from Mark Batterson. The book is In a Pit with a Lion on a Snowy Day. But the quote is, the cure, for the, the cure for the fear of failure is not success, it's failure. The cure for the fear of rejection is not acceptance, it's rejection. You've got to be exposed to, to small quantities of whatever you're afraid of. That's how you build up immunity. And I was thinking about that just in relation to where we're triggered. Um, where we are triggered by other people, it's very common to want to change their behavior or control their behavior or change outside circumstances so that we don't have to feel certain emotions, right? So that we can avoid the pain. But that's not, that's not the work. The work is not to control and change other people, but to work enough on yourself that those things don't trigger you anymore. So again, this goes back to the untethered soul <laughs> where he talks about you can either spend your entire life changing outside circumstances so that your inner thorn doesn't get touched and you don't feel that pain, or you can take out the inner thorn. Um, I talked about this yesterday in my, in my video, the series that I'm starting on YouTube, um, about how my inner thorn is change. And, um, and really, I have spent the majority of my life trying to control other people's behavior so that I don't have to experience that discomfort. And I, I really went through this shit again <laughs> this weekend. Um, I was, I was really missing my ex. Um, and so I was working through a lot of those emotions and I found myself slipping back into old behavior patterns of, um, you know, if, if I texted and he didn't respond, then the negative tape would start. Why is he not responding? What is he doing? Is it, is it me? Is it, has he gotten over me? Is he in a new relationship? Like that whole just bullshit story, right? And it was in those moments that I had to really take a step back and ask myself like, okay, well clearly this pattern has not fully been resolved yet. This is still, there's still something. If I'm getting triggered by the fact that he's not responding, that's not on him, that's on me. <laughs> and so what do I need to be doing, right? Where, where am I missing the connection to myself so that I no longer am, am needing him to act in a certain way so that I feel better. And so that really made me think about that quote, right? That like, Guinea is running. <laughs> My cats. Um, that the, the cure for your fear of failure is not success, right? Just like the, the cure for codependency, for instance, is not to then receive a text. The cure for codependency is to is for me to figure out, okay, well, if I am unhappy within, what do I need to do to fill that void? And so I spent a lot of time by myself this weekend. Um, you know, I went to church on Friday night and, and yesterday morning, but other than that, I was really asking myself, what would bring me happiness right now? And it's not about reaching out to someone else. It's not about waiting for someone else to text me back. It's not about going out with friends um, because that's just slapping a Band-Aid on it. What do I need to be giving myself 
so that I can feel the joy, so that I can be creating my own happiness. And once I've done that for myself, then I can reach out to other people. And so I did a post about that too, about if you're experiencing loneliness, what you're really wanting is, is that connection. You really need that connection to yourself. So um, that's, that's my message for you guys today, <laughs> is wherever, wherever you are being triggered, it's not about someone else's behavior. It's not about someone else changing what they're doing or saying to make you feel better. It's what do I need to be providing for myself? Um, what connection am I missing to myself? And, uh, you know, I made, a, I made a deal with the universe this year. We'll see what happens. But I, I made a deal that um, I, I am going a year without being in a relationship unless like the perfect person for me um, comes my way. And, and, and I really realized yesterday, I was like, well, nope, not ready yet. <laughs> because like you'll know, and, and Kyle Cease actually said this in I think one of his podcast episodes, where if you are still in a place where you are trying to receive happiness from someone else, like if you still view someone else as the source of your happiness, then that's not the reason to get into a relationship. But if you're like completely content, don't care one way or the other, and doesn't really matter if the person's with you or not, um, then that's how you know that you're ready to be in a relationship. And um, so I've, I've, never, I've never done that before. Um, I've either like just not been in a relationship for, for multiple years, but not really working on myself like years and years and years ago, or I've jumped from one relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship because, um, I had fear of being alone. So that's my message to you guys this Monday morning. Have a good day.